The first official FIFA 23 gameplay trailer is out now. Let's take a look. All right, guys. Let's see what they've got for us. Coming to gameplay in FIFA 23. Okay. Can't wait to hear more about Hyper Motion 2. Hyper Motion 2. That's what we're going to get information about today. Thank you, Derek. Joined by the one and only Shauna Games and our gameplay dev team, Sam and Concho. Everyone. Okay, that's our first look at a bit of gameplay there. Obviously, I can't tell much from this picture because it's in 1080p. But yeah, a lot of people actually don't like this camera angle, man. I don't know. I think it looks okay. I'm super excited to play FIFA 23. Cheers, Rascal. Oh, wow. They, they, they've actually got content creators involved in this gameplay presentation. That's cool. Okay, let's get right into it. Today, we're talking about... Okay, so about we're going to learn today about Hypermo. Motion 2, women's club football, attacking, defending, goalkeeping, and skill moves. Okay, there's a lot of content. Hyper so Motion 2, let's see. groundbreaking next-gen technology that combines advanced 11 versus 11 match capture with machine learning. And with Hyper Motion okay. 2 this year, for FIFA 23, we carried out twice as much real-world motion capture than we did last year. That's oh, okay. That means I think we're going to get a lot more new animations, which is always great, guys, because more animations means that there's going to be a lot of variety in the way players move and, you know, dribble and everything. We got a ton of great data for training drills. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. That's right. So there was like a shooting drill. We got okay, a ton of great so, data so guys, uh, EA have been using training drills to oh, capture uh, stuff for hypermotion. So that's what they've been the doing the this year. Jockey, then try to counter that dribble. We've got all that motion. So the beauty of training drills is that we can get a high volume of data that maybe you would see only once or twice in a full 90 minute match. But in the uh, training drills, we got it over and over again. Did they do this last year for Hypermotion 1 Hypermotion though? Hypermotion 2 is a technology that empowers the improvements across all the gameplay areas. And in the end, it takes us over. Uh, okay. Bit of gameplay there. New true to football. Okay, looks like finally we're getting to see a bit of gameplay. Like here, look at this. Timo Werner. Forget our machine learning. <laughs> yeah, you can't be doing Timo Werner like that. Why you got Timo Werner scuffing his shot in a trailer? Look at this, guys. Poor Timo Werner. They just made him just do nothing there. But did you guys notice the pitch looks a lot better? I mean, I know it's tough to see in a video like this, but it does look a lot better. I think they did do something with the pitches. Yeah, so is that a new feature? I don't know. Okay, this is one of the new features in FIFA 23 technical dribbling let's see what that is you're gonna notice the dribbling oh, is different. okay okay we use the new animations that hyper motion brings to enhance the responsiveness oh, I like and the visual that. quality of dribbling Oh, if and dribbling is like that, that's going to make it a lot of fun. Because I always felt dribbling is a bit static on, on FIFA's. You can just, like, it's, I don't know. You can't dribble like Messi, if you know what I mean. But maybe this adds that to the game. I don't know. Let's see. When you're playing with elite dribblers, you're going to be able to change directions much more quickly. Oh, it's that's nice. Elite dribblers change directions a lot quicker. allows us to do is actually interrupt dribble animations. So let's see. Even if you point to the right side. You can quickly cool. change that's, the that's, we'll that's cool. That animation, so players like King Min Sean are going to be like awesome to like use, basically, like that. Like, exactly like that. Bang. Is that going to go in? Of course it is. Yep, they've got a bit of messy gameplay. So you guys can see Messi moves a bit different. He can change direction a lot quicker with a Cruyff turn. Cheeky Messi doing a Cruyff turn. Well, what's the counter to Oh, dribble? okay. So apparently all this stuff is only on PS5, Xbox Series X, PC, and Stadia version. So all these new features you're seeing, at least most of them are only going to be for next gen. I mean, it's about time you guys upgrade. Okay, now we've got something well, for defending, which is the new control. jockey system, which so needs a much, like, the way you're upgrade. Like, because it's been so, it's been the same for so many years, the way you defend. So let's see, let's see how the jockey system works. Okay, okay. That's, that's kind of really realistic you know players holding their hands slightly behind as well i like it i like it i like it man that's awesome did you see van dyke there yo that was sick that was sick oh no are they doing something with acceleration and making players ridiculously quick please no please no please no it's probably the very first thing that our players look into exactly like oh my god they're, they're making pacey players even more op <laughs> guys guys mbappe is gonna be broken controlled and length the link is the strong physical place. Oh, but it's wow. Not only limited to okay, this is a, a race between Messi, Marquinhos, and Tim Pembe. And I, 
I think I think what you saw here was Messi was the quickest off the line and, and Kimpembe is like just using his long legs and catching up. So I guess different players are going to have different way their pace works. Messi's going to be super quick for short distances. The rest are going to be over long distances. That's cool. More variety and differentiation between players. Imagine all this in career mode, man. You can maybe sign fullbacks that are like super rapid for like short distances. Defenders that can just make those big strides like Kimpembe. But guys, what I don't like is this. Just imagine this to be Mbappe. Just sprinting through. It's going to be pain. Oh, look at this. Look at Vinicius Jr. just using that pace. Oh my god. I don't want to. The meta is going to be pace. Guys, the meta is going to be pace. Yeah, look at this. With Hakimi. The pace with Hakimi. He's unstoppable, guys. Alright, this one is actually cool, guys. This is going to make players like Thiago, who've got like terrible pace, actually useful. Because you saw that. He made like a controlled acceleration or something. that. That's what they're calling it. So, technical players will have like a short burst of acceleration which will, I think, make them usable. The Look at this, guys, from Thiago. He would never be doing that on FIFA 22. The defender would turn back and literally catch him. Signature, signature run style. styles. Okay, this is going to be cool. I know so you've got Kylian Mbappe running, running like Kylian Mbappe. Right Who's that? Is that Chiesa? Yeah. It's got to be Chiesa. And Vinicius Jr. has got his running style. He has a two visually different run styles when he's dribbling with the ball. Oh, he actually, I never he noticed he had a different ball, running style. A little bit everywhere because he's so creative going in and out. But when he runs... It's more composed. And oh, so he runs different. I didn't know that. Subtle changes oh, this is cool. This is cool. The more variety you add for different players, the more better it becomes. You know, like every player feeling different. That's the goal I think FIFA should aspire to have. All right. So what do we have here now? They get, they're going to show us... Yeah, pace is going to be OP, man. I can already feel it. Pace is going to so be OP. So we finally got some footage of one of the new features called Power Shot. That looked nice from Ja Felix. Okay, look at that, guys. Apparently, you can just rifle one into the top corner with power shots. Look at that. Vlapovic just banging it over. Oh, oh, oh. I just, I just noticed a cool new feature. Look at this, guys. You can have a man uh, behind the wall. That's, that's a neat addition, you know? And look at this power shot. Bang from Beckwis. And oh my God. How, how do you do it though? I don't think they've revealed how to do it in this video, which is fine. We'll figure it out when the game's out. Last year, we introduced composed ball control. This year, composed ball striking. Composed ball striking what's that oh with that first touch and set themselves up for wow okay jack grealish i wish he did that in real life a city to control the ball so th this composed ball whatever is basically like you can set yourself up for the goal for the first shot cool like it this is big guys what's new with set pieces let's see in fifa 23 we redesigned all set pieces mechanics the new penalty kicks okay okay new, new penalty system. kicks how is it going to work let's year, see how is new penalties going to work benzema if you time circle time, shaped cons you will oh have a more precise shot oh guys you need to wait for that circle to be green and if you do that you've timed it perfectly that's cool and you can bang it home like that you bet i'm i'm skying every penalty i take you just know you just know i think i think free kicks are going to be different as well like look at this we've got mason mount about to strike and I really love that the Let's new see. system gives you full control of the trajectory. So in certain situations, okay. I can actually curl around Let's the see. ball back into the net. Oh, the nice. Have, uh, no I still don't know how the free kicks work. Thing is on but I like the UI that's, that it's got. Yeah, the there's the, there's the Joel Matip. Why would you have Matip lie down? Just just have him defend, you know? When but whatever. You see uh, I like this. <laughs> that Sam, didn't work. Tony Cruz mudded, bro. I can't believe it. They're showing the Timo Werner clip again. Timo Werner mudded, man. Defending looks a lot cooler, though, on this game. Like, you know, the way the tackles and all I'm seeing, the jockeying. It's nice. It, it looks cool, at least. Bro, whatever I'm seeing so far from FIFA 23 gameplay, man, it, it, it genuinely looks awesome. Like... All these new animations Naturally, and everything. Let's hope they the can. It'll be. It'll be fun in game. What's up with new goalkeepers? Apparently, they catch the ball a lot better when you know, like these situations. More realistic as well. Like that. Look at that from Edison. Okay, guys. Fingertip saves now in uh, in FIFA gameplay. Oh, they've actually put it. So each finger is like a different moving part in game. So that's cool, which is how it should be. Courtois is going to be mental. He's going to use all his fingertips to save everything you just know. But this looks really nice. Keepers are going to be OP too. But with the power shots and everything, I think it should be balanced. Okay, EA are putting more realistic deflections in FIFA, which means I'm going to concede the weirdest deflections ever. You just know. 
But that's it's nice, because that often the deflections back. look a bit weird. Uh, so, I look at that, the guy getting hurt on Di Maria in a Juventus kit. Okay, about skill moves, this is so big. Many things with skill moves, actually. Okay. But my favorite part is the left-footed skill moves. This is something that... Oh, okay, so left-footed players will now do their skill moves with their left foot. Like, if you use Messi on FIFA and try to do any skill move, he'll always use his right foot. So, not anymore. We're going to see them use their left foot. Look at that, a left foot elastico from Riyad Mahrez. That's a nice feature. I rate, I rate it. I rate it. I rate it. I rate it. By the way, guys, the EA revealed Yaya Torre Carvalho partition. I think they did that before as well. But yeah, FIFA 23 gameplay. I think we got a qu quite a bit of info about it. I'm excited, man. Hopefully you guys are as well. And I'll catch you guys soon for maybe when they release some career mode information. Peace.